All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol ZOM, Zoom Medica Corp. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all the subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So, Zoom Medica has had a run upwards and it reached new highs here of 59 cents and it's been falling back down and it hit lows here that we're about to talk about, but it's sitting at 42.30 and kind of back at where we started before it broke through this resistance, right? We were watching to see if it broke through this resistance and it certainly did early on in the day, broke through it, but it could not hold itself up. You could see that the bears were fighting here to tear this down. So as they tear this down, we want to see what is our new resistance and support. We got some numbers to talk about in a broader spectrum of things. And then we have some numbers to talk about a little bit more narrowed in. So I want us to pay close attention here to these numbers because resistance and support is important. But we want to also know moving forward with the volatility in the downward or upward direction what to do and what to look for, right? So here we are with Zoom. Zoom Medica Corp is going in the downward direction. We have our support. We have the 50-day moving average which is 34.69. I'd write that down. Super important number. As long as we're above that number, we're in bullish territory. The moment we're below it, we're in bearish territory. So I want every single investor to be aware of that. Very important point in this chart. Now, the highest point reach, which is the most important resistance level, is up here at 58.95. Not that far from 60 cents. 58.95 Definitely needs to be broken through by the bulls to reach new highs and new resistance levels. That's the highest point we've seen this stock reach in the last couple of months. And quickly after that, it leveled off. And this is the last high before it started to fall, which was 52.52. So these are all resistance levels to keep in mind moving forward. Now, we have our support. This support level is important as well because 4026 if it gets broken through we have a very small window between support and the 50-day moving average for the bulls to reappear or the bears to continue to tear down this chart i want every single investor to be aware of that that's a very small window we have here for the bears to actually start to continue to tear this down and for the bulls to try their best to reappear now if support is broken through, we still have this room here in bullish territory. But because you're in bullish territory, the closer it goes down, the closer it's getting into bearish territory and giving leverage to the bears. That's why it's so important to watch the behavior. If it breaks through the support, how quickly is it moving downwards or are the bulls trying to reappear within their territory? If not, this could end up crossing the 50 day moving average and hit newer lows and get deeper into bearish territory. So you want to keep that in mind. So our support here is 4026. Now, our resistance, which needs to be broken through and is the most important resistance level in this chart. I know I talked about the most important up here to see new highs, new resistance levels up here as well. This is the highest point before it fell. But the most important in the near term and the first one that needs to be broken through to get to any of these and work its way up and for the bulls to maintain leverage and stay in bullish territory and not have this 50 day moving average catch up to the price because this is me drawing ahead of time and if the price doesn't break through resistance you can see that the 50 day moving average is above right and the price will be below giving leverage to the bears to tear this down and excuse my terrible drawing but i just want to illustrate it so you guys can visualize it so very very important to keep that in mind why the resistance 4896 is very important for the bulls to break through turn that into a support pull away from it upwards to reach new highs new resistance levels and pull further away from the 50-day moving average so it does not catch up to it as always if you guys found this video helpful and informative please do so and subscribe don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not forget to miss a single video here, right? When you turn on notifications, you won't forget a single video because you'll get notified and you won't miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video, and in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened, and I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets. On these dates, the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here. And I break it down into more detail in the video. But just to summarize it, on these dates, the S&P 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it. Anywhere from $0.30 cents to $3 per share. I know it may not seem like a lot, but per share that does add up. And these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits. These are profits. And like I always say, profits are profits. Whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back $2, you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with. That's what it's all about. And also in the video, I go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose. Like for example, this was one of the last pump dates. And the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11. And the highest point reached was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88. And it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 3388 that was an 80-point jump there was probably ticker symbols rising up more than three dollars per share on those dates and even on these dates there's individual ticker symbols rising more than three dollars per share check it out see for yourselves and my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the s p 500 index and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.